All right, so this video is in response to a really good question that I got recently, which is, which herb would I recommend for supporting overall daily energy for someone who wanted to support their training regimen or perhaps even for someone who had a demanding job physically or mentally? And I think one of the best things for that would be cordyceps. And cordyceps is useful and beneficial in a, in a few ways. First is within Chinese medicine, it's classified as primarily a qi tonic, although some people put it in the category as a jing tonic as well. Works on primarily the kidneys and the liver, or the kidneys and the lungs, I'm sorry. So within kind of a scientific context, cordyceps extracts have been shown to actually increase our blood oxygenation levels and support this production of ATP which these two things is really are really at the, the core of what we're experiencing as energy in a, in a pretty big way. And I've even had clients that had parents on uh, basically on oxygen, oxygen therapy because their blood oxygen levels were so low. And then they had them hooked up to machines that would actually measure that and then when it would flow or when it would get too low, they would have to boom, hit their machine. So what they started to do was give them cordyceps and they had them, they actually could measure their levels and they noticed within a very short space of time, the cordyceps was dramatically increasing the amount of oxygen in their blood and really helping them feel a lot better. And there's on you know on, on, a, on a related but slightly different note there's a lot of famous stories of uh olympians or people of that nature whoops i just destroyed the camera <laughs> of olympians uh, and track teams setting records and basically attributing a lot of their success to cordyceps personally for me it's something that i use on a pretty regular basis and i notice a definite enhancement in my training and also my recovery and I've had some friends recently that never really got that into tonic herbs, never really took that, you know, never really took herbs and gave them cordyceps. They started taking it in the morning and noticing that their energy throughout the day was a lot more even, a lot more stable, and they just seemed to have a lot more of it. And they generally just felt a lot better. And it's an important point to clarify. Often when people think of energy, they tend to think of like a, a really aggressive stimulation and I even see this when people emailing and asking me questions and they almost just want stimulants and you know there's nothing necessarily wrong with stimulants per se it's just that if we're using them chronically over the long term it's probably going to be some deficiency that will arise some overstimulation in the system so it's much better to take things that are naturally a bit more supportive and provide energy, but don't provide the excessive overstimulation. And also things that give to the body and don't just take it away through depletion or overstimulation. So cordyceps is one of those things as it can start to replenish the body over the long term, it can start to improve our metabolic functioning, our respiratory functioning, our immune functioning. And so that over the short, medium and the long term, we're experiencing benefit and our body is going in a much more beneficial, sustainable direction for the long term. So for me, it's just one of my favorite herbs and has been for quite a long time. I, I really, I really like the taste of it. And this is something, the taste and the consistency is something that kind of freaks people out because they think it comes from like a worm or a caterpillar. And basically, if we're talking about wild cordyceps, that's harvested say in the mountains of Tibet or something, then yeah, that is the case. But that's not what people are consuming and that's not what it's on the market because that's like twenty to $40,000 a kilo. So it's not really that available and it's pretty rare and it's pretty hard to actually get your hands on authentic real stuff. So the stuff that I sell is actually done through a process of liquid fermentation. So in the end, the product is completely vegetarian obviously but also it's a completely pure extract because a lot of companies are selling products that are cultivated on grain or rice or wood or cornstarch or 
even worse, <laughs> even worse things. But what happens is the mushroom can only consume about 50% of that growth medium. So then what ends up happening is you buy this cordyceps powder, but you're getting 50% whatever they grew it on. And then the other 50% is cordyceps, but it's not extracted, it's not concentrated. So you're not really getting much of anything. Or on the other side, they'll take this raw material and then they'll extract it. And then they'll claim a high polysaccharide count or a high um, starch count or something. When in the end, all that's just coming from the oats or the rice or the grain or whatever they grew it on. It's not really coming from the cordyceps because what they started off was only half of what you actually want. So it ends up being a pretty weak dilute product. But it's what a lot of people do because it's way cheaper. It's way more economical. Um, as a business owner, you, you know, you can make a lot more money and consumers really don't know the difference. And oftentimes maybe the business owner doesn't even really know the difference. So that's why for me, the cordyceps that I sell is a 14 to 1 concentrated extract of pure cordyceps. No fillers, no growth mediums, no nothing. It's just pure extract powder. It's basically because that's all I want to take for myself because first and foremost, I'm, I've been into these herbs for a long time <laughs> for myself. So I, I would only sell something that I actually want to take. And that just to me makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, I'm not really sure why I would take all the time and energy to, <laughs> to do all these things. So wrapping up, long story short, cordyceps is the best herb that I would recommend for these purposes. Gynostemma is also really, really a good one. It's in the same, similar category. And I guess the last thing people need to get is that when we're talking about energy, it's not really like a stimulation. If anything, sometimes you actually feel more relaxed and centered. And then from that place, you feel more energetic. Because if you're more relaxed, you'll naturally have more energy and you'll be able to work longer and faster and harder because you're not you're not fighting yourself, you're not resisting yourself, you're not pressing the gas pedal with your other foot on the brake. So cordyceps is pretty pretty amazing, it has a lot of other benefits aside from what I've mentioned in this video. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video real quick to answer that question. If you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, check the link below to learn more about cordyceps, obviously at my company, Hyperion Herbs, and I will talk to you soon.